Welcome to what I'm going to start including in this every once in a while. Um, a little bit of a lore. So today we're doing the lore on Atlas Park, which is your introductory zone in City of Heroes. I'm just going to read verbatim what was on the site at the time and have some fun with it. You guys can actually... Yeah. There is a neighborhood breakdown, but I'm not going to go over that. I'm just going to go over the official background of Atlas Park and giving you a nice little um, third-person look at the Atlas statue on City Hall. I, I kind of like this this viewpoint. Um, let me let's see if I can get this a little bit even. There we go. So the OCD crowd doesn't go cuckoo on me. Um, Atlas Park is the city zone at the heart of Paragon City. No landmark exemplifies the heroic nature of City of Heroes more than the statue of the fallen hero Atlas that stands in the front of City Hall. Atlas was one of the first heroes to respond to the Nazi sneak attack against Paragon City on December 7, 1941. Almost single-handedly, Atlas kept the German attackers from gaining a foothold past Independence Port. It cost him his life, but he held his ground until the Freedom Phalanx arrived. The statue of Atlas was dedicated by a statesman himself in a ceremony christening the heart of Atlas Park. Many heroes were inspired enough by Atlas's sacrifice to volunteer for the Freedom Phalanx's trek across the Atlantic to help reinforce the Dawn Patrol in England. To this day, Atlas Park is the safest area in Paragon City, and many new heroes dedicate themselves to making sure it stays that way. Throughout Atlas Park and the rest of Paragon City are even more statues of heroes that fell in battle while defending their beliefs. Newcomers to the city are always encouraged to look for the information plaques by these monuments to learn more about those who sacrifice themselves for the greater good. From Atlas Park, heroes can travel south to Skyway City or north to Steel Canyon. The hazards of Perez Park are a short journey to the west, while closer at hand within Atlas Park itself is an entrance to the trials of the sewers. But be warned. Both Perez Park and the sewers are dangerous places for unprepared hero. One of Paragon City's most well-known contacts, Miss Liberty, is seen frequently in Atlas Park providing information on her new venture, the Freedom Corps. Freedom Corps facilitates communication and coordination between Paragon City's new heroes. Recently, the streets of Atlas Park have been menaced by members of a new street gang calling themselves the Hellions. No one is certain why the gang members have swelled so quickly in such a short time or how they have taken over so much territory, but it is rumored that they have some kind of alliance with one of the more powerful gangs in Paragon City's <laughs> Circle of Thorns. Uh, unfortunately, no one knows who yet. Circle of Thorns. Uh, one thing is for certain, the gang is just one factor dramatically increasing the workload of new heroes in Atlas Park. Government officials in Paragon City are responding quickly to this new threat by hiring a number of new liaisons and to aid heroes in identifying troubled locations within Atlas Park. These liaisons can be found in, Atl in Paragon City Hall and are a vital addition to the heroic system that protects the city of heroes. And that's the lore for Atlas Park. I will see you guys in the near future. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.